deep inside you know when you play home the supporters they they want the best for you and you always go to give them pleasure that was always my 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 view about playing football give the supporters pleasure to watch myself and the team that's why i always go go out and play when you're losing you supporters gotta go there and say yeah these guys they 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 give the best they're good that's my always you can't give every time of course but all the time I go there, I'll, I'll try to give them pleasure to come back again. Fans cheering and you know, when you're going forward, you hear the roar and you know, when the keeper makes a save, you hear the roar. It just it gives you motivation, that extra motivation uh, to, to help you, you know, get, to the, get to the ball before your opponent and uh, you know, make that last ditch tackle. Mm -hmm. you know, just give those little one percenters a little bit more. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's fantastic. Um, it certainly beats, you know, training out here and you know, training every day because ultimately that's what you play for, to, to play competitive games and to play in front of uh, fans and you know, a lot of fans. So to be able to do that is, it is a privilege. I get to stand and dance and make a fool of myself. It's really good. Um, but my role is to start, start the chant, start songs, um, try and get as many people involved around the ground as possible. Um, match day away is just to have a, a key focal point to to start things, make sure everything's a bit more coordinated because it is actually heavily coordinated and it's very difficult to do what we do. Very much I think about having fun, um, enjoying your time at the football, um, singing, uh, lots of laughs and um, mainly support, supporting the team continuously through any adversity, um, being 3-0 down and there's still you know, two minutes left to go. If we look like we're to score, you're still supporting the boys and basically that, that, that's probably the, the key line to it, you're just there to support the whole way through. But, Having fun as well, lots of fun. It's not always going to go smooth for the, for the players. That's when the fans really need to get behind the team. And, um, and coaching in that sort of atmosphere as well, it, it's fantastic. And like everyone, I get excited more than most when, when we score goals. You know, those Champions League games, I was probably sprinting more on the ground after scoring goals than the players were. So um, you really have to, when this place is full, it's so intimidating for the opposition and uh, and the opposition they know that um, so extremely important that the fans really get behind the behind the players. It's a good atmosphere lot sort of bringing South Australia together mm -hmm. um, and not just making it sort of one nationality lot or you know it was a game for all South Australians not just you know one one group. Mum actually got in the paper for that first game when uh, Carl Viet scored his goal um, and she was wearing a red wig, so <laughs> she brings a wig to every game. Before Red Wig Steve. Before Red Wig Before, Steve. Before, yes. Sitting uh, right up uh, at the back of uh, the opposite team, uh, it's quite interesting. Um, you hear things you should not hear. Uh, I've run in a bit of, not trouble, but a bit of a argument with the opposite team. Well, it, I, I don't think the supporters um, actually realise how much they can help the home team get over the line in those difficult games. You just seem to um, do that extra when you've got that support and the backing from the supporters. And yeah, definitely that first year and even the first two years of the A-League when we got their support, they helped a lot of times to, um, for us to get the result because you just didn't want to let down so many people that were there supporting the team and passionately supporting the team. Yeah, quite quite a few. Um, obviously, uh, probably probably the first, first couple was Con and Steve and Adam Butler. Uh, they had a big, big part in uh, the, su the supporter base of Adelaide United and Con and Steve you still see at, at games now. Uh, Adam I, I see every now and then, obviously he does some great work with his photography, uh, but they, they played a, a key role and it's, it's always good to see some, some fans that have been there from the very first, very first game and, and still are very, very passionate about the club. You've got to give yourself time. Uh, to go to the supporters, even if it's for, for one minute, it means so much to them. Um, you know, uh, I, I remember when I was a, a kid growing up, and I used to go watch West Torrens uh, football team, and uh, you used to go out there with your with your uh, autograph book, and you know, sometimes the players used to brush you off, and uh, that's one thing I used to hate. And so it's really important that. Uh, you, uh, you spend time with the fans because they're the ones who are coming out here, they're spending money, 
and you want to try to entertain them and, and give them a good night. Laurie McKenna was a coach of Central Coast Mariners. He swore at one of the players, so Mum decided to say, look, you know, maybe you shouldn't swear. Um, but he actually turned around and, and told her in, you know, not in so nice language. To go for to, walk. You know, um, so Mum sort of answered him back, but then at, at half time he actually came up to her and apologised. Actually, I said I will accept your apology, provided when you come back, out at the end, you give me a signed Guernsey. And he did. Well, he did, but we end up losing the game. We've got a coach that's of quality. Um, our youth system is of quality, it always has been, but players are getting more opportunity, I can see. Pete knows what fans need, knows what they want, and he's going to provide that to them, I think, truly. So I think everything so far, the club's done in the right direction. Um, Marco's a brilliant coach. I think he's got the right mindset as well. Very much like how it's almost like Gonbao as well, that same type of coach that you have complete trust in and you know take the team in the right way.